we're going to be doing your weekly forecast here for September 20th through the 26th. So I'm going to be using the tarot cards. So let's shuffle them up. <laughs> My hands work right here. <laughs> Okay, we're also going to be using the animal oracle cards as well. Um, see what spirit animal is going to come through to you to help you with this week as well. Um, perhaps it will uh, go along with your reading or just give you the energies and how it survives and what it can help you with this week. Okay. Alright, so let's let's begin here. We have the strength card. Page of Swords. the Five of Cups. And your animal spirit card is Sandpiper Spirit. Sandpiper Bird. Alright, let's put these that aside, move these out of the way. So here we have, you have the strength card in the beginning of the week here. Um, looks like you're working towards uh, taming something. You have a, a lot of uh, uh, strength coming towards you in the beginning of this week for something that you've been working on. And, um, and you have a bunch, here's the infinity sign up here. Above her head, and uh, you know that uh, your strength is infinite. You know, every you all you're always going to have strength within your heart um, to tame to tame something. I mean, perhaps you're trying to teach something to someone as well through the love and uh, affection towards the for, towards the animal or. Uh, you know, some type of fiery situation here, with the, with the lion being in the in the colors of the flames as well. He does have his tail between his legs, so he is, uh, you know, just you know, it's giving in, it's giving in, giving in to you. So, gonna have some infinite um, love and strength coming towards you um, this week, and. Um, just remember to use this strength that is um, being brought to you this week in a good way. Um, you know, you know, use passion with use passion and love with it, with uh, some type of situation that you're trying to overcome or to, or to calm down situation or tame tame the situation. And then you have the Page of Swords here. Um, he's holding up, you know. He's holding up his sword, and uh, the wind, you know, since he has his hair here, you know, we think the wind and all is blowing this way. It's blowing this way. And you also have uh, two, four, six, eight, you have ten birds up here on the top of the card here. And, and uh, ten is the, um, is like the starting to begin a, a new cycle. 10 is like the beginning of a new cycle. And if you noticed as well, the birds here, they're, they're trying to form 
the infinite infinity sign as well. See how it's going like such? It's going like that as well. And the, the page is looking back. It's looking back. So when we put the... You now this was your first card. Here's the second card. Now that the winds are, are, blow, are shifting this way, are shifting this way. And he's looking back at, at the strength, you know. Looking back. Um, you know, he, he wants to move, you know, wants to move forward. He's got his sword up. He's ready to, you know, cut the negative out. Cut the negative out. The winds are blowing. Um, it's just also showing you and telling you that um, you know that, that you do you have the strength to overcome whatever is being uh, brought to you this week, um, and to be strong. You know, stand against the you know don't let the winds don't let the winds push you. You know, put your sword up and and stop that wind. Um, Stop that jealousy or whatever is coming towards you. Um, just slice it and stop it. Because you have, you have the strength and the infinite knowledge inside you and your heart here to, uh, to not let that happen. You know, don't let it bring you down. Because, as I was saying, don't let it bring you down. Here, you know, the Five of Cups, you know, it looks very... Looks you look you look very very sad. You're seeing that these cups here have spilled out, but behind you you, you still have two loving cups here, uh, full of prosperity and love and you have good stuff. You still have good stuff. You know, he looks very depressed here. Um, it's like crying over spilled milk. Well, well don't. Don't do such things this week, because you have the you you do you are being brought forward the strength to overcome that this week. Um, you know, just just cut through the negativity here and let the wind take those problems away, because again you have the infinity sign above uh, the young page here as well. So it also pages represent a younger person, so there could be possibly a younger person coming to you. Uh, this week to help you, um, you know, help you in your strength and overcoming this fiery situation that could be going on um, as well. So, you know, don't 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 be all down and you know don't turn your back on the goodness and just look at the the sadness or of whatever situation that was. Just turn yourself around here. Well, hold your head up and and, and look forward because you do, you know, you have goodness here, and lots of strength. Your cups are all about love. Swords are about cutting negativity. So you've got the strength to do that this week. So let's see then what the sandpiper comes into play with that re with your reading and brings what energy to you for that. Um. Okay, Sandpiper Spirit sings, be playful, and they are very playful birds. Um, they do a funny little dance, the Sandpipers do, and, and they like to splash in puddles. Well, actually, they, they like to splash on top and hop from lily pad to lily pad. So the Sandpiper here is just telling you to to, uh, to be playful and, and be playful and... Um, you know, walk on walk on the water. You know, you have the you be having the strength to to calm the fire this week and cut through it. And don't forget again, don't forget about what what you have. You know, little sandpiper spirits just here telling you to be playful, be playful, and uh, you know, do as the sandpiper does. Um, you know, dance around. Dance around and be joyful. Be joyful, because you do have the strength coming towards you. And you, you are Leo, and here's the lion here. <laughs> um, yeah. So just keep what's ever roaring you, you know, what's ever roaring you up this week. You know, just 
you bring in your heart and your care, care, be caring and gentle. And then you can tame that, that roar of what's bothering you. All right, so you have a wonderful week. And we'll hope to see you again. Bye now.